teachers inspire a love of learning for students in the classroom across the country. I swear it, the teacher has got to get excited, right, to get the kids excited. Today marks the start of Teacher Appreciation Week. And here at AMHQ, we're celebrating those who get you know, excited about science, technology, engineering, and math, of course, better known as STEM. And brings that out in the kids. Yeah. This morning, we're highlighting one teacher who was recently named Michigan's Middle School Science Teacher of the Year. Jeff Bauman joins us now via Skype from Shoemate Middle School in Gibraltar, Michigan. Hey, good morning, Teach. Good morning, Jeff. How hey. you doing? Good so, morning, so Stephanie and Jim. Great to see you. Thank you for having me here today. I am so excited. This is, this is awesome. Thank you. So like a chef, you know, a lot of times they won't give their secrets. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you, that, ask you this right out of the gate. And you don't have to tell me this, but what, what is your secret to getting the kids energy. In, into science? Your lots energy. Of, lots, lots of energy, okay. you know. Um, make everything uh, applicable to the real world. Bring lots of energy, and um, that's, that's the key right there. I agree, though. I mean, it really makes or breaks any situation. You know, if, we, if we came up, you know, every day and we're like, it's going to be sunny today. It, it wouldn't be Not exciting for anybody. Either. Yeah, well, <laughs> let's talk about your hashtag, getting science done. Where did you come up with this and how does that motivate? I, I have to be completely honest with you. That hashtag right there is something I, I just said one day when I moved from uh, elementary land up to middle school. I said, holy wow, I got to start getting science done. And uh, it's, it kind of stuck with me. And it's my belief every day we do meaningful science here at Shoemate Middle School, um, whether it's raising salmon, sturgeon in the classroom, or uh, okay. taking citizen science measurements for the GLOBE program, or checking out real world weather right here on our campus via weather stem. All right, so let's talk about that. Through a grant, you were able to purchase a weather stem. How are you using that weather station to teach kids? Looks like it's right uh, behind weather, you, the data. <laughs> this, this weather station, is real-time Gibraltar weather. We're not talking Detroit, Pontiac, Monroe, Toledo. We are talking right here in Gibraltar, Michigan. And uh, through the generous donation of uh, Ulysses, we were able to uh, bring Mr. Edward Mansuri and WeatherStem up to Gibraltar, Michigan to install the first and only WeatherStem station in the state of Michigan. My students, uh, they watch the cloud videos every day. Um, our community, we have our weather website, so they know exactly how to prepare their students for school. Uh, Coach D'Angelo knows how to prepare his students for track right after school uh, because these are the conditions right here that are on our campus. Um, the Gibraltar Police Department and Fire Department use our station, and it's just, it's, it's gone crazy. It's, it's simply awesome. Jeff, how long have you been teaching? Uh, this is year number 14, I believe. Okay, so have you had a student come back to you and said, Mr. Bauman, I remember what you did for me way back in middle school, and that inspired me to oh, do this. Um, yeah, every um, every so often I'll run into somebody and they'll come back and they'll say, Mr. Bauman, you remember um, that one year we had a two-headed salmon during our, our salmon project? And, you know, our, do you remember, um, you know, our lake sturgeon, um, Finn, you know, they, they just, they, they remember these things. Yeah. When, you, when you do these big projects, um, it just, it's so meaningful. And that's, that's what we strive to do here. Yeah. That's you know, awesome. we're both very passionate. Uh, with everything in life. This is how we are <laughs> right, during right, right. TV, off TV. I, we're both passionate, like really engaged, you know, and I'm passionate about people being like that. So where does it come from for you? I, I love science. I am, uh, our community calls me the snerd. So I'm King Snerd, the science <laughs> nerd. And I just, I'm a citizen scientist. I have a weather station at home that I hope to have on Weather Underground very soon. Uh, I take measurements for Kokoraz, my daughter, uh, engages in citizen science. She's so awesome, you know, and, and everywhere we go, we just, we're always doing science of some sort, whether it's, um, you know, earth, physical life, robotics, citizen science. But, but it's I, just the, the, go ahead. As a teacher, I was going to say to you, you know, to see, you know, your passion come out through a child that you've taught. Or wake something up in them. You know, or, or yeah, or, or wake something up in them. That's got to be one of the most thrilling things as a teacher. You know, it, it's it's simply awesome. And, you know, when you, you tell students that we're going to do a lesson on severe weather, at first it's it's kind of like, okay, cool. But then when you show Jim Cantori doing thunder snow, it just makes everything that much better. And um, that's that's what we do. And that's how we bring it to life here, you know. So would you tell your students, find something you're passionate about? Is that what you really teach them overall? Do what you love. Absolutely. Absolutely. I try to... Uh, 
you know, spark that love for science. You know, I'm, I'm pretty obnoxious when it comes to that. I just, I love science <laughs> and it's, it's what we do here, you know? Well, Jeff Bowman, I, I get it, we, Jeff. yeah, we enjoy having it. you. Uh, Keep up and the good thanks work, for all buddy. the work you do for the future generations because we need people that are passionate. Yeah, we do. Thanks for talking to us, Jeff. All right, coming up next here on AMHQ, gearing up for the next round of storms, we'll pinpoint who's in the past.